Hi there, Justin here again from Brickwright, building a landscaping company down in South Wales, down in the Cardiff, Ronakon and Taff, Pontypris areas. Today, I just wanted to speak to you a little bit about um, going to do a quote for a client. So based on a on a client perspective, I suppose this will help any uh, future clients out there um, wanting to know, you know, expecting what the landscaper stroke um, builder is going to be coming along or what, what's going to be happening in the process of that quote. And also from a, a landscaper point of view or builder point of view, um, you know, what should you be doing when you go to do the uh, quote so i mean you know anybody got any comments on it i mean i'm, I'm open to be uh, to be taught on this for some tuition never too old to learn so here's my take on it i've been doing this for many many years now so you know for, for a, a perspective from the landscaper to go there or builders to, to go there of what we're going to be offering on on the quote to the potential client then you know an introduction is when you knock the door you know make sure you're uh, you're smart you're presentable um, you know, maybe you've got something like this, you've got a, a company logo, smart, decent, something that can uh, present you as uh, belonging to something, you know, belonging to your business. Um, so something like that would look uh, professional to start with. Um, so then when you get into the household or you get out to the garden or you get out to where the extension is going to be, you know, you've got you to start straight away trying to find out as much information about um, about the job, about the work that you can so uh you know you've you've got to get there you've got to give people your, your advice on stuff you've got to go through prices what materials design budget you know things like any structural works if you're doing an extension very important we spoke about this before on other videos about structural uh, works and structural calculations then to determine what steels and stuff like that that may, may be needed or what walls need to be taken down drainage if you're doing landscaping and again it comes into the extension or building bracket um things like neighbors impacted we found out on the job we're doing in cardiff on an extension that the neighbors next door had four like alsatian dogs that were precious to them as dogs are um and we wanted to knock down the wall and the fences between the two gardens so the you know the the, the neighbors the impact that they had on them was they were very worried about the dogs so there's always an impact on the neighbours, and you've got to go there and, and knock next door's uh, door and uh, and find out what's suitable or what's not suitable for them in terms of, you know, what you're going to be doing next door and the impact it's got on them. So you need to take that maybe a little bit further down the road in your quoting, but you need to take that into consideration as well. Um, you know, what does a client want? What 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 are you there for? What what are you pricing the job for? What 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 ex what's their exact requirements? That that's important access is another big one can you get your diggers in your dumpers in your machinery can you get in you know can you get your materials in all those kind of stuff where are they going to be stored is does it need an outside like portaloo temporary portaloo um is stuff going to get stolen if it's outside on the uh on the front everything all those little bits and th bits and pieces so you've got to be thorough um you've got to be prepared to go there a few times so if me you have to go there for a few visits you might not be able to get everything over in one consultation um i think we've mentioned punctual be clean tidy and polite that's self-explanatory um explain the cost maybe the cost will change so if you're given a price say it's x y and z the price is in it's done the client has agreed to it yeah okay let's, let's go let's go for it you have to explain to the client and again really important um and, and we do do this as much as we possibly can um you know, say, for example, just take something off the top of my head. Say you're doing an extension or some landscaping work. You've dug the ground out. The ground is really soft. Building control are not particularly happy with the soft ground in terms of you putting like a, a, a foot in on top or a concrete foundation on top. Um, so you've got to go down deeper. They've asked you to go down deeper to hit harder ground. Obviously, you don't know until you started digging the ground whether you need to do that or not so you, you've got to relay that to your customer and try and give them every piece of information that you can and uh you know maybe follow that up in writing then so you've got a point of a point of communication in writing so the cross the cost could go up for that or other reasons you need to get that over to your client um spend enough time going through the work so the client understands the work involved and the cost of the work again you might think it's self-explanatory but something you hadn't thought about Take precise measurements. How many times do we go there and the client says, oh, some other guy came in and um, he didn't even use the tape measure. He just looked around and went, oh, £8,000. There we go. When do you want me to start? 
Well, how do you know how much things are going to cost? How, how do you get a price until you know how much the square meterage is or the linear meterage is or your heights and your level? So important that you get a full picture or you take measurements off the plan or if you're doing a landscaping job and you're designing it, then you do that yourself. You get your own measurements. Um, pinpoint the services on site on, on your quote. Um, so things like gas, water, electricity, you don't want to go damaging them or, you know, if they got to be moved, you need to put a price in for that. Um, and then, you know, especially for the landscaping stuff, which I, I love this because when you're working off a plan for building, then, you know, 9.9 .9 times out of 10, you're working off a plan, you know, the design's done, isn't it? So when you're doing a landscape and you can put your own input into it, and I love, I love the creativity of that. Um, so when you're there and you're talking to your client, give as many options as you possibly can. They might they might just ask you for a patio, but you, you might think, well, you know, a deck might work better here or a porcelain patio might work better than a than an Indian sandstone patio. Listen to their budget. You know, you might want not want to mention porcelain because they've asked you to do it on a budget. So concrete slabs might be something you might be wanting to mention. And they've just thought of decorative stone. So, you know, th there's a scope to give. I like to give my clients maybe one to three options, one, two, three options um, of something that they haven't thought about and, pl and price for it, just to give them an idea and something different to uh, to price with. So that's good. Um, get as much information off the client as as they can deliver to you. Again, that's going to help you in terms of your uh, in terms of your pricing, isn't it? Um, use your experience to alter things. So we've just pretty much mentioned that, haven't we? Um, material choices, all that kind of stuff. Use your experience to design and and, and thoroughly go through the work. So your client is getting something based on your experience and your knowledge, which for me helps me a lot. Um, you could show the client images or direct them to your website so they've got a vision. A lot of people can't see, can they, um, what you're trying to create. You do. You go there. You, you know what you're trying to create. You've got it. It's in your head. Client doesn't. Some of them do. Some of them don't. Um, so you can show them previous images, finished images of something similar or a different material to give them an idea. That's good. Or as we do as a business, we've had people come along on the site we're working on our previous jobs and, and they, they can see it laid they can touch it they can they can you know have a, have a sample of what the work is going to look like based on the materials that we've used on that job so we have them to come out and, and have a little look at it so that's good that's a good one um they're going to be asking you stuff how long's the job going to take will you be on site every day well you should be on site every day shouldn't you i mean we do we take on one job at a time um and the jobs we're on you know, I'm I'm site based, so I'm I'm there every day, bar in the uh, the old Welsh UK weather to uh, to stop us. So um, and sometimes we get soaked. So we're there pretty much every day, bar in the weather. Um, another key one: qualify the client and the work they are asking you to price. Do you want to do the job? You know, is is the job for you? Um, ask them some qualifying questions, which are questions personal to me and my clients we won't go into that but you know some qualifying questions you, you can think of that yourself um if the job's not for you be honest you know just say you know i'm awful sorry mr and mrs davis I've, I've come here today with every intention to do the job but um looking at it based on the access or whatever as um you know whatever's um kind of flagged in your head that you don't want to do it just tell them because how many times you hear I went to the job, I, I, another builder went to price, another landscaper came to price. Um, four of them have been, we haven't heard from any of them. There's a reason, isn't there? So just be honest, just tell them, and they appreciate your honesty. So just just get out with it and just be honest and tell them. Um, from more from a, a landscaper builder point of view, um, you know, you're qualifying the client for somebody that you want to work for as much as the client is qualifying you as somebody that they want you to do the work. So... You know, I, I got this thing, you know, your spider sense. I call it my spider sense. If your spider sense tingles, your your, your conscience is telling you walk away, just walk away. If, if something's not right, you haven't got that right feel about it, then generally, you know, doing this job over the years that I have, you, um, you're you pretty much right. So um, just be brave and just, just walk away. Don't do not do it. And it's, it's better for yourself then, isn't it? Um. So once you're taking your measurements out, don't work things out there and then on site. Go away, work them out in your own office environment, in your house, in your van, you know, wherever you feel comfortable, you've got time and space um, where you can sit down, settle your mind and, and work through the measurements you've taken off site and work through the requirements and, and write it all up yourself and then 
once you've done that then get back to the client with um with with costings at, at that point you may want to go back to revisit because you've realized that you've missed something out or there's something that you've thought about while sat in the office that you haven't thought about on site so that that's a good thing to reflect and get your price accurate um to do that um what have i got here uh get your quantities right so it, it's not just what's going in to the project in terms of bricks blocks patio slabs you know timbers and so on roof tiles whatever it may be drainage uh decorative stone anything you know a lot of people concentrate on what the quantities are in terms of going in but a lot of people don't quantity survey in terms of what's coming out so much has got to be dug out that's got a bearing on how much you charge isn't it so that's another key one all key ones be clear that any additions to the agreed work are chargeable so you've got a basis of what you're quoting for and then you want to be clear to the client that you know anything additional to what you've agreed and what's in writing is obviously going to be chargeable so that's self-explanatory but unless you make it clear then um sometimes it might not be transparent as it what, what it seems um things like if the client changes their mind um you've you've got a you, you know you you've got a change your approach you, you've got to change the way you do things to accommodate what the what the client is asking is asking for so that's again that's another important one and it, it, it kind of changes all the time and then we move on to samples so they might want to see samples we did touch on that about taking them to see some some work didn't we um has the client or neighbors got animals we, we also touched on that are there any special requirements is anybody disabled in the house do they work nights so you know things like we've come across people before that the neighbors work nights we're using machinery so we try to use the noise and machinery in the afternoon when the person next door is up um things like that um is there anybody in the house with a disability we've got to make requirements for disability and stuff like that can they get in and out of the property once you fill the front drive up with all their materials things like that you need to take to, take into consideration that's a big thing for us with the uh the, with the disability and uh keeping an eye on what the neighbor's requirements are big big for us um customer service so that's top dog isn't it basically you got to you, you your customer service don't rush the quotes make sure you've been thorough and then you know be yourself don't pretend to go there and be george wimpy and think to yourself or, or robert mcalpine or somebody like that and think you're the bee's knees because you, you, you're not you you're not you're just you so go there be yourself and um you know hopefully everything goes right because if you if you're going to be yourself when you go on a quote then people will actually want to see you and meet you for what you are not for what you're not and if you're going to lie and you're going to be something that you're not then it's going to show isn't it it's, it's only going to be a matter of time before it shows so don't go there and uh, pretend to be something that you're that you're not and then you've got to push yourself really think long and hard for your client sometimes it's a challenge um sometimes we're talking about it today with another landscaper uh, I was talking about it to um, George Jones from uh, from Matibo, who I've kind of got quite friendly with on the uh, on the internet, and he runs a channel as well. So take a look at his stuff because he's uh, he's a young lad coming through, and he's got some really good ideas that I've learnt off myself. So have a look at him. So George, yeah, thanks for all your input. You've you've helped me with me. Um, so yeah, I mean, um, in terms of pushing yourself and challenging things, one thing that I can think of off the top of my mind, we went to see a garden a couple of years ago. Uh, and a residential property typical uk urbanized residential uh, property garden was flooded bottom of the garden was always flooded water the, the more water this was like a tide when when it when it rained the water came in and it came up towards um halfway the garden and then receded when when it didn't rain couldn't get rid of it it was a a natural occurrence within the garden and it was just there there was no way anybody could get rid of it so what did we do i went away and i thought well how am i going to do this and i thought and i thought and i thought and i couldn't come up with an idea and i got quite worried about it and i wanted to help these guys because nobody else had a, an idea of what to do so we came up with putting a bridge in you know um put in a bridge over the top and we just used some beam and blocks and bison beams and um yeah we, we accommodated the water put some beams on top made a, fe made a feature out of it my phone's falling down here slightly sorry guys so uh yeah we made a feature out of it and um lo and behold 
the the finished product was uh, was brilliant and it, it was a feature within the garden so you, you've got to overcome the challenge and try and think of something for your client and yourself to uh, to overcome that time scales weather all that kind of stuff you got to talk to them about time scales it's a difficult one isn't it you know we, we don't have to go too much into that it, it can be difficult um uh important be be yourself we've talked about that be honest the most important thing is to be honest um you've got to be honest i mean my dad taught me growing up as many dads do to be honest but you know it's it's huge isn't it you, you've you've got to be honest with people i mean if, if you're not honest with people then things are going to suffer aren't they so and you're going to be found out so just just be honest with people and oh, my phone is uh is dying to death it's falling off here so apologies for this let's get this back sorted on there it's falling off my windscreen so we're, we're running on that now be honest and then that's about it for that so i think i've hit on enough the phone going has uh has sidetracked me a little bit but yeah i think that's um pretty much it where we are with it so you know when you're going to see a client just try and accommodate all those things there's a lot of things to go through and a lot of things that i've learned over the years that help me and a lot of you know a lot of the stuff you learn again with a bit more experience like myself um but yeah i mean if i've missed anything out which no doubt as usual i'm sure i have um just let me know let me know in the comments underneath and if you've got anything to add that as a client you'd like to see people like us landscaper builders coming in and uh and, and and you know what you'd expect if i've missed something out then uh let us know but if you are a, a builder or a landscaper doing a quote i hope it's helped you um and good luck with your pricing and good luck with your quotes and uh yeah hope you enjoyed it hope it was helpful and um this is the van log from Brickright. um see you on the next one enjoy your day be safe stay well cheers thanks bye bye